Hello and welcome to Dragon Ball Speak, a show where we summarize and review every episode of Dragon Ball Z and we rate them each on a scale of one to seven stars. I'm one of your hosts, Brandon. A whole new Gohan. That's an episode we'll talk about. Gohan kicks some ass and Boo eats glass. It's really nice to see after see all the, after shit, we've all had the to watch. shit we've had to watch. I'm Wesley. And this is Dragon Ball Speak, episode 81. Now I know what you're about to say. Wesley was on a cruise, and we you didn't tell, do it. I'm so tan now. You are a bit darker. A I touch. wonder if we'll be closer, like on camera, to uh, uh, skin tone. No, you have quite the olive skin. It's orange Italian on skin. camera. It's orange on camera. Yeah, it doesn't help that I'm like white, mostly veering on red, um, due to uh, overheating, possibly, possibly the result of my overweightness. Um, high blood pressure. High blood pressure. No, I don't have high blood pressure actually. He has good blood pressure. I well, can I did. feel it. it was I like can sense it. Ten months ago, I did. You're but about a lot can change in ten months. One twenty six over seventy two right now. How'd you guess that? Perfectly spot on. Scent. Are you a vampire? Vamp. We prefer to go by vamp. Vamp. Yeah, that actually makes sense. I'm a <laughs> I'm a fellow goth. <laughs> Thank you to our Patreon supporters, Brian Kazmalo, Aiden Wable, Ripato, nineteen ninety two, and a new one. Taiwan Owens. Taiwan Owens. Let me tell you about Taiwan. All right. Awesome. Just so, so awesome. He made the choice to support us during what some call the best arc of Dragon Ball Speak. Some say the best arc of Dragon Ball Z. Not us. Few. (laughs) Few. It's not us, but (laughs) some would say. So thank you to them. Yes. And everyone else, really. All um, All the legends out there. Yes, agreed. Um, let's just kick it off. Let's just talk, uh, let's talk, let's address the elephant in the room first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rate that form, rate that form. Wesley, I would need you to rate that form, please. Gohan has a new form. What do you think? Um, what is the new form? It is referred to as Ultimate Gohan. Ultimate Gohan, okay, good to know. Um, I think that started as like a fan name for it and then it became official. What is it? Just like Giga Chad Gohan? Because he doesn't look too much <laughs> yeah, different. He's just a basically. G now. So the hair's a little spikier, and he's yeah. got the bang that comes down. Yeah. Um, and he looks a little older. He looks, you know, stronger, a uh, tighter, very much tighter, a little toned. And I don't remember if this is like explained or not explained, or if I'm making it up or if it's canon. But what I've always thought, and maybe maybe this is real. Okay. My Dragon Ball knowledge is lacking a tad here. Mm. Jordan Lee, uh, please tell me in the comments if I'm right. This is, he is not a Super Saiyan, but he is yeah. stronger than he ever was. This is him kind of leaning more onto that human side of things. Oh, okay. And his innate potential and his, and the innate potential that he's always had, which is higher than, you know, pretty much anyone else's because that's always been his thing, uh, combined with his battles throughout the years. And so it's almost like a super he it's just like a super Gohan almost like he's since he's a hybrid. And so he does keep the black hair, but he has the lightning bolts of the Super Saiyan 2 mm-hmm. and the music and the amazing music. And it is pretty much just Giga Chad Gohan. Yeah. Do you like it? I do like. Yeah, it was cool. Um, Did you think and, he was going to get Super Saiyan 3? Uh, Yeah, I thought so. But I was kind of hoping that's not what it was. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm still a little let down overall by how we got here and where we're at now like it, what should be hitting super hard is hitting a little less hard because of what i had to endure to get there yeah um, and i think pretty much like the overall thesis of this arc is like big moments that are not getting enough build any build yeah like we're just boom power and even with gohan his new form is awesome, and in the episode 263, a whole new Gohan where he's just kicking Boo's ass like it's nothing. It's really fun to watch. But like right before that, we basically just watched him talk to Supreme Kai, and he's like, oh, you've been done for a while now, like 10 minutes. Just, um, you'll just know. Like, you just do your thing. 
And Gohan's like, oh, okay, really? That was it? You just wasted all my time? And he's like, oh, my bad. I was just looking at my little porno mags. And then that's kind of how I felt. I was like, wow, you've just, we've just wasted all my time. But we, we've talked every week about cutting back and forth to these stupid little Gohan Goku segments. And it's like. So let's talk here. Like, like Gohan's Super Saiyan 2 transformation is something that was legitimately built towards throughout the entire, really the entire series. Yeah. Um, this does not feel that way. Like, what did he do to unlock his new potential? Right, because like we've we've seen a potential unlock type deal happen with um with them on Namek, Gohan yeah. and Krillin. Yep. Yeah. And so this kind of feels like they're like, hey, we did that that one time. Like maybe if we just do it again, mm-hmm. um, what would be funny about it? What make it make it, it a big joke. Yeah. Uh, cool new statue on the table, by the way, for the old YouTubers. Anyway, um, this boy. Yeah, the old Mystic Gohan is what a lot of people called it back in the day too. That's actually not. The, what it's called it's ultimate gohan ultimate gohan i remember back in high school we all called it mystic gohan let's make it giga chad gohan let's start a new thing what is the song what is the giga chad <laughs> i don't know you don't know the giga know chad, was song? A giga chad song no. yeah it's awesome i guess i'm not a giga chad nah you're the virgin and i'm, I'm the, the chad i'm the virgin mary pray to me so anyway, we get um we'll get we'll get back to the Gohan Boo sequence there. Do you like the fit? Yeah. Do you like the dad honoring the dad's fit? It's a cool fit. His is a little darker, I think. Like his undercolor. It might just it might have just been that specific like lighting, maybe. Lighting, but um I actually kinda like it more. Like it's a more toned down royal blue compared to Go Goku's kind of like more traditional <laughs> deep blue. Yeah, so um yeah, I love this. I love that he's paying tribute to his dad. He usually pays tribute to his teacher, Piccolo. Mm-hmm. Um, but this time, he, you know, he just saw his dad for the last time. And he want, he really wants to pay tribute to him because he, he considers his dad the greatest fighter of all time. And so he decides to honor his dad with his, da- with his dad's clothing. Um, and I think it looks fly on him. I especially liked the moment where Piccolo mistakes him for Goku because of the clothes. And then it turns out it's Gohan and they're way more surprised. Goten goes, no, that's my brother. That was a good cool. go, Ten. Thank you. But we're getting way too ahead of ourselves. Let's please talk about episode 261. Go Tanks, go Tanks is awesome. Is awesome. Go, Tanks, go Tanks is awesome. Can't you see? Go Tanks is awesome. Go Tanks is awesome. He's in Super Saiyan 3. If you're watching this from the future, I want you to tell me what Chris Pratt's Mario sounds like. The reason I say that is because Chris Pratt also voices Emmett from the Lego movie and then the Lego movie, the second part. Didn't watch the second one. Point is... They had a second one? Yes. Whoa. It probably was not nearly as good as the first well, that's one. That's not a because I didn't even know it existed. Mm-hmm. Point is, also, when they made a game of the Lego movie, they called it the Lego movie, the game. That's actually sick, though. Call that's it like, the Lego game. No, that's like Pirates of the Caribbean, At World's End, the movie, the game. That is that is real? That's sick. That's what the Wii box is. Oh, I didn't know that. So anyway, point is, I want to know if Emmett from the Lego movie could be Super Mario Brother from Super Mario Brothers movie, voiced, both vo- both voiced by Chris Pratt, who would be... Where did I start this? Bo- Bo- who would win in a fight? Who would win in a fight? <laughs> oh, that's where you were going. Yes. I didn't even know it's where you were going. Also, we should point out that Gotenks is actually voiced by Chris Pratt as well. Um, <laughs> He's <which> so cool. <laughs> And he's also going to voice Garfield in an upcoming animated movie. Um, so if you need somebody to just do a voice, Chris Pratt's got you. I'm so, so much more excited about Jack Black being Bowser yeah, me too. than I am I'm Chris excited Pratt about Mario. almost every other casting choice. I don't actually like hate Chris Pratt. Um, it is funny that he just keeps getting cast in like these random voice roles. But you know what? You can get your bag. Um but it is a weird it's a it's not a good casting nobody seems to remember this but i'm positive and i mean i'm 100 percent positive that he was originally cast in the sonic movie way before they even put out a trailer like this is before the before a poster even leaked it was like chris pratt's gonna be in the sonic movie and it's gonna be ben schwartz as sonic and Oh, Ben! Oh, wait. Was Chris Pratt gonna be the guy? Yeah, the guy, dad? the guy. Oh. Not, not as Sonic, as the guy. But then it turns out when, that would make a lot of sense. When the trailer actually came out, I was like, "That's not Chris Pratt. That's a dude that looks like exactly like Chris Pratt." It's um, but James Marston from Westworld, or 
Cyclops from the X-Men movies. I haven't watched either of those, and I never will. But the point is, um, the point the point is, <laughs> the point is that it was going to be Chris Pratt. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. We'll actually find out what Mario sounds like pretty soon, probably, because I think next week or October 8th, so next week maybe, um, they're going to release a teaser for that movie at New York Comic Con. We don't know if we're going to hear him, but we're going to get to see some of this movie. Can you please... What do you think Chris Pratt's Mario will sound like? What do you actually legitimately think it will sound like? It's going to sound like Chris Pratt doing a New York Italian accent, and it's going to be borderline offensive. Offensive. <laughs> you know, like, you know, I'm married to an Italian. My best friend's an Italian. Italians are also basically white people, so, like, you can kind of make fun of the old Italian every now and then they can make fun of us. Um, but I will feel for them in this moment. I believe Chris Pratt will be borderline offensive. So you think it's literally going to be like a, Hey, it's me, Mario. And I, uh, this is my brother, Luigi. <laughs> yeah. Literally like the I'm walking guy from Rick and Morty. I think that will be Chris Pratt. There's no, they know better. There's what, no, okay, okay. So it's then what not are they gonna do? be the high pitch. Do they, just, do they just make it Mario then? No. Okay. Cause yeah. Cause you would hire. I don't Charles. think they're going to do an What's, Italian accent. So it's like going to be Chris New Pratt. York accent. I think it's more likely to be just Chris Pratt's voice than it is to be him doing like a Brooklyn accent. Uh, isn't that the worst case scenario though? Yeah, if he's just like, "Hey, I'm Mario. Where's Bowser?" It's tough being a plumber, and sometimes you gotta sing your way. It's gonna be a musical too, by the way. I can't do a Chris Pratt impression. I don't no, know what I he sounds either. like. Gotta, I've seen it's, every Chris Pratt movie. It's a touch of rasp. Have you seen <laughs> what's the one on? Um, uh, I know you've seen it actually. Passengers. No. I've seen Passengers the three Tomorrow times. The Tomorrow War? I have seen The Tomorrow War. <laughs> Some content creators say it is one of the best movies that has ever come out. And they will be talking about it for years. It's, it's we not, are not some of those content creators. No. You know, it's kind of funny that you got to get your bag sometimes. It, it is. It is. Do what you got to do. do, what you gotta do. If it, someone wants to pay me to, to watch a, a movie and I just got to tell you that's the best movie ever made, you know what? Oh, full disclosure. If anyone ever sends Dragon Ball Speak a DM and is like, <laughs> if you watch this movie, we'll give you $1,000. You have to say it's the best movie you've ever seen. We 100% are going to sell out. <laughs> we will sell out. We yeah. need the money. We're selling that. Just don't, just ignore the tweet. We're going to get like a Velocipaster uh, too in our DMs. Yes, please. I think that's please. the name of the movie. The pastor that turns into a Velociraptor. Uh, Thanks Killing is a good one. Um, First line of that movie is, <laughs> nice tits, bitch. <laughs> what yeah i think that's the first is this line. like in the same it's a line? turkey it's like rubber this is like in the same family of movies that's like the the leprechaun dude yeah that kills people he says nice tits bitch which <laughs> who's the bad guy it's is very it gross to say um <laughs> yes it is a turkey <laughs> i'm gonna watch this movie now yeah it's good it's i good. want to i've actually been i've been telling my wife i want to watch like scary movies all of october and it sounds like thinks killing's got to be at the top of my list i'll say leprechaun act Leprechaun, I remember actually being good. Is it? <laughs> There's no way. I don't know. I've I watched the it. whole. So when I was younger, the whole trilogy at the time, yeah, came out on TV. He goes to space at some point, right? Isn't there like le killing Leprechaun in space? Or maybe I'm thinking of clowns. Good question. Know. Aliens. Which one's the one with the alien human hybrid that gets sucked out the window? Three. Horrible. I think it's the one where like they mate with the human or something. Horrible. Um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Pretty good game. I played it. And I wrote about it on GameInformer.com. Is it out yet? No, it doesn't come out until next year. But I think it's going to be our next Friday the 13th. You played it and it doesn't come out until next year? Yeah. Why didn't you play Dragon Ball The Breakers? <sighs> Are you going to review I've not that? Given Are you going to be able to play that? I don't know. I Am I? For uh, Game Informer? We'll have to see. Um, I'll sign up if I'm given the green light by you, Papa. You have the green light, uh, basically. <laughs> okay. it depends on when i, I think feeling, i think we're clear i have a feeling i'm not going to review it um i just i don't even know what's going on with the game it comes out soon good question i, I feel no like idea. It, i feel like I it no comes idea. out like last week and i've not seen anybody talk about it i have all i see is that like farmer the shotgun farmer with the shotgun's finally getting his due which you get to play yeah. as farmer with the shotgun that really is awesome imagine just like doming cell with uh like a rifle or shotgun I, pellet i don't have just... to imagine i'm gonna do it <laughs> the best the fact alone if you told me there was a game where you could play as bulma from dragon ball yeah. original oolong excuse me i'm having a lot of uh burping from the lacroix yeah, the, the beach plum lacroix will beach get you. beach plum first time trying it it's good not as good as hibiscus not as good as i've never had hibiscus it's amazing beach plum tastes like a capri sun 
yeah. but like obviously not as good. Essenced. Yeah. Anyway, the game's gonna be amazing no matter what anyone says. And I'm about to pick a back up pick back up fighters because uh, I want to. I wish I could. I want to get into a fighting game so bad. That's the one to get into. I mean, I can't. And they're about to bring it. Wait, are they about to bring the PS5? Yeah, they are. Oh, they're about to bring Netcode. To Netcode. It. I think they're going to probably re- re-release it on PS5 think, with all DLCs. I think they well. already have an update that makes it. Or maybe there's an update coming, like an extra update. There's definitely going to be like Ultimate Edition. Ultimate Gohan Edition. Speaking of which, uh, so yeah, Gotenks gets knocked through the lookout. And uh, Piccolo is like freaking out. And I think that's the Kami side of him, if you ask me. Yeah, he's not happy about his house being destroyed, which is fair. <laughs> it was Kami's house. Yeah. And now it's gone. And all these people are dead, too. Gotenks gives him a splitting headache. I like this move. This is like his only good move, where he does a sword beam into the sky, and then he splits him down the middle. Um, I feel like I've seen this before. Because we did. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> full disclosure, we watched the first five minutes of this episode, like, what was it now? Two, three weeks ago. Yeah, right and before the great shit incident. This, this was, unfortunately, this precedes the, uh, the great uh, dog poo-poo incident. That we have talked about at length already. The scene where Gohan Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is floating and there's boo pieces going around him in orbit. That's like precisely where we were like, we got to call it. Yeah. The dog has shit. The, so much. The eagle has landed. Um, so Gohan's like looking over at the ball because everyone keeps like talking about uh, Gotenks is fighting. And then they tell him to stay focused because they're still, um, you know, still drawing out his potential, so to speak. Question. Could they do this with anybody? Mm. Could he draw out anyone's potential like in this in this uh, method? Granted, what is I think the, what is the method? That's the question. What the hell is the method? The method worked. Is it the just method sitting? worked? But how do we know Supreme Kai did it's anything? Like the hand because he did. Like he's stronger now. <laughs> That's how. Yeah, but maybe it's just coincidence. I I want to test this. I want some controls and I want some variables and I want to put a bunch of people in Supreme Kai's sitting ball and I want to see if anything happens because I don't think it will. I think Gohan relaxed i think he took a breath and he took a breather because sometimes that's just what you need you need to just relax and take a vacation and now he's come back giga chad that's my theory that's what you just did that's what that's what i just did and now you can tell that dragon ball speak is on rare form we just talked 17 minutes about nothing related to dragon ball z that's a good episode in my opinion well we talked a little bit about dragon ball z you're very close to being able to play dragon ball z kakarot as well i could just- probably start it now and I've based told on, you that. I've told you that. Yeah, no. I it's like got, a 60-hour platinum. Uh, I got so much to do. Oh, but I should wait for the uh, new gen version. Yeah, probably. PS5 version. When is that coming out? Do we know? Uh, November? Yeah. Looks remarkably, remarkably better. It's actually insane. Like, I'm very impressed with the amount of work that they put. They put in actual man hours into yeah. making the game look better. I actually thought it looked pretty good before. I didn't I, I also thought it, that. So I was just like, oh, the trailers. It looks like Dragon Ball Z. Now I'm like, oh, this is like a pretty game. It's pretty insane. I played that game in length whenever it came out, 60, 70 hours. Of course, got the Platinum. Of course, we did an unboxing video of the special edition. Yeah, you best believe we did. Do you think they'll release another special edition? No. I'll buy it. <laughs> they won't. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, yeah, you can you can finally play that. Kami, yep. Piccolo Kami <laughs> slash Kami's upset Kami about the lookout. Yep. Kami, yep. <laughs> Will Gohan get Super Saiyan 3? Would... Uh, I wrote that down. We know the answer is no now, but is that the general direction you thought we were going in? Yeah, that's what I thought. Or maybe like Super Saiyan 4, if that's a thing. But I was like, I hope not because I don't want that to happen for the reasons we've already talked about. Yeah, Um, exactly. I put Gotenks splits Boo into two. Not effective. Why? Because uh, Boo comes back. And you know what it's time for? It's time to release some ghosts. Um, turns out all the ghosts he releases are the same power level as Gotenks. So my question to you is, why, if moving forward, is Gotenks just going to release 10 ghosts to fight? So then it's 11 Gotenks-powered beings on the field, which would be undefeatable. I don't think he said they were the same power level as him. I, think he, I thought he said that they were stronger because he's stronger. Like... I There's, can't remember now. Well, uh, point is, regardless, he does, in fact, release many more ghosts over the course of these couple episodes. Yeah, the next time we see the ghosts, spoilers for episode 262, very sperm-like. Very. They leaned into the old sperm. Yeah, they saw what the fans um, were thinking, and they were like, you know what? They're actually right. These do look like sperm. Let's just lean into it. Um, 
That's all I wrote for Gotenks is awesome. Oh, really? Well, here's what I wrote. I love the fact that this is like the 10th time we've done this, and Gotenks still has a very shocked expression on his face when Boo gets blown up into smithereens, but then comes back to like comes back together. What do you think is going to do Piccolo's head? If I was Piccolo right now, I would do a special beam cannon through the top of my skull. Yeah, I'm wondering. <laughs> I thought you were going to say through Boo's skull. I'm wondering no, why. My own. I'm wondering why Piccolo <laughs> isn't giving them any coaching. His coaching is not great right now. It's kind of just like when they mess up, he goes, why would you do that? <laughs> Instead of being like, hey, um, spoilers, he's going to come back. You got to, again, you got to start a fire. You got to break him up into a bunch of pieces and you got to cook his ass. And then you eat him. Full when circle. They, but they did that last time. And there was no smoke, fire. Though. The smoke. <laughs> was there? Fire? It was I, like I, energy I blast. No, I specifically think you got to burn it zombies aliens frankenstein probably you name it how do you kill the monster you burn it i want to chew him i do too i want to chew his little dangly thing <laughs> <laughs> that's not what i was expecting how do you could think this design all right think final form frieza mm-hmm. perfect cell mm-hmm. and then this super boo which design do you think is the best design as like not just as a villain but just like as a character design Probably Final Form Frieza. I actually agree. It's sick. It's, it's a such sick a design. clean design. It's nice. It's what I like in design, and it's got purple. So purple, my favorite color, automatically gets bonus points. But it's a clean, slick, like futuristic, streamlined design. You know that dude is here to fuck shit up, and you're not gonna mess with them. Cell's final design, very cool, but it's like mostly kind of like a big Power Rangers villain, weird bug looking, like gross thing. Still scary in its own right, um, but I would I would be more scared of like it rather than if I saw Final Freeze I'd be scared of that thing's potential. I'd be like that is a strong being. With Cell I'd be like that is an ugly ass little bug. Get it away from me. Um, Super Boo I'm not convinced I would be scared. Um, I just don't think I would be. He's so non threatening. Like I know he's the strongest villain so far, but like his behavior, there's nothing interesting about him. No, he laughs like Ed from Ed, Ed and Eddie. Too. <laughs> <laughs> like but they're toasting thing. gravy. <laughs> He that... throws his neck back. His neck becomes super long. Oh, I thought you meant like he sounds like. <laughs> no, he does. He does. Oh, okay, it's okay. just like spot on. Like he he does that. He opens his mouth big, and he has like the same like laugh, and it's just bad. Um, but it's good when Ed does it, just not when Super Boo does it. Super Boo, uh, probably my least favorite um, villain form of the 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 souped up versions of our hero. Of I love our what, villains. I love when they lean into like the gum aspect, like the liquidy aspect of him. I think it's super interesting yeah. and cool to watch. But, but yeah, for the most part, I agree. But we've seen it like ten times now. Yeah, we have. Uh, speaking of which, I wrote down it's been ages, so I feel like we've been watching this Go Tanks, really just like. I don't know what I feel like we've been watching this Go Tanks and Super Boo uh, saga like art like part of the saga for a very long time. Mm-hmm. I feel like we've been talking about it for a very very long time. We are treading water and we don't know why. I guess the reason why was that Gohan could come here, but there's no reason like Gohan didn't need more time. They the could have show- just made it so it only takes like an hour instead yeah. of like twenty something hours. Exactly because there was nothing that like happened. The show didn't earn its need to have them fighting for so long or its need for Gohan to be away for that long. Nothing happened. It was just they were fighting for a long time and Gohan was like, am I good now? And he's like, no, not yet. And then one day he was like, you're good. And then like the two come together. Gohan comes back to Earth. Perfect timing because Gotenks can't fight anymore. But there was no necessitating it. Like why i legitimately i legitimately think this whole time that he just doesn't know how he wants to end boo the writer because like goku super saiyan 3 and then fusion and like you know gohan maybe like what like you gotta pick one yeah it feels like he's like reacting in real time to what people are saying i think i think he was in large part yeah like people were like oh super uh, goku's gonna win again that's boring why can't we get something new out of these characters let goten do something and he's like okay gotenks and then like People didn't like Gotenks, maybe. I didn't like... He's kind of annoying. And they're like, you know, people are always saying, like, Gohan should get his due. What if we do that? And then it feels like that's And then now they're going to be like, oh, this is just like the Cell Saga again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, well, wait, people really like Supreme Kai. Why don't we have him do something? And then he's going to come save the day. 
save the day or like somebody i don't know it does it just feels like a real-time reaction to whatever people were saying back when this was coming out my question now for you is that do you think that this we are now in the final fight so to speak like the super saiyan goku versus frieza where this is like the fight of the arc i want to say yes but given that we don't have that many episodes left we have about 30 episodes left yeah i want to say yes but given that gohan is just obliterating boo but not actually doing it like he clearly has the power to like destroy this dude he's putting the whooping on boo can't do anything to gohan really and yet we just watched 10 15 minutes of that fighting and the fight wasn't over which tells me that like Boo is gonna do something to like get another upper hand. What? I don't know. Uh, maybe he's got like uh, uh, he'll get stronger. He's got his own form, or maybe he's gonna. What was I predicting a few episodes or a long time ago? There, a bunch of boos are gonna come out. Uh, the old one, the the um, the evil boo. Like he's gonna have a. I don't, I don't know. Or maybe Gohan is gonna get just. This is what I want. I want Gohan to kill him next episode. Gohan has he wants to kill. That line was sick. Yeah, it was in such a cold line. Where he's like, such a cold line. What does he say? He's uh, he he's, basically just tells him like, I'm here to kill you. And he says, Fight you? No, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, that's a very out of character thing for Gohan, it but is. in a good way. Like this, that reflects that his this change has happened within he's, him. He's very serious this time. Even Piccolo says he's much more confident and serious yeah. than usual. Whereas whenever he got this extreme power boost versus Cell, he became cocky, arrogant, and wanted to drag things out. Yeah. But now this character has has been through that experience. He knows what will happen if he dilly dallies. So he's getting down to business. Now I will say we only got a taste so far. I know it mm-hmm. felt long. But it was really only like five minutes of actual fighting. Um, and it was mostly laying down the hammer. Um, Gohan does have quite the hammer, if I do say. Like in Thor Love and Thunder, a favorite of yours. So here's the thing about Thor Love and Thunder. <laughs> there is a subplot where Mjolnir oh my God, I forgot about is this. like the ex-girlfriend. And then Stormbreaker is jealous because Thor wants to have Mjolnir back instead of Stormbreaker. And um, it wasn't funny the first time, yeah. and it wasn't funny the fourth time. But it was paying off the other three Thor movies and all the movies Thor's been in where his hammer and then Stormbreaker have their own personalities and romantic interests in Thor. That's what you're forgetting is it was all in those <laughs> movies. So the payoff is that Thor uh, must have gotten hit really, really hard in the head in between movies. Mm. And so he actually regresses to pre Thor one, which is kind of like the time travel aspect of Avengers Endgame, oh. but only for his brain, mm. and it makes you want to rip out your own eyeballs. Yeah, not a good movie, folks. I don't know if you've heard this, but uh, it is the worst movie I've watched in theaters. <laughs> it is the worst MCU movie. I don't care what anyone says. If you liked that movie, you have horrible taste. Um, you don't know how films should look. You unless don't... you're watching Dragon Ball speak. If you like that movie, but you're also watching us. You have conflicting tastes. It, it, you, if you like that movie, you don't know how films should look. You don't know how films should be edited. You don't know how dialogue should be written. You don't know how, you don't know how to consume something other than ooh, pretty colors. Ooh, character does something interesting. No, no, that is a horrible, horrible movie. No, no. I was in the Bahamas and I swam down to the bottom of the ocean to pick up something. It's probably like 15, 20 feet. And I was like, oh, this will be easy while wearing a scuba diving mask or a snorkeling mask. And the amount of pressure I felt on my ears hurt so bad. You got to equalize. You got to click them. It hurt for like 15 minutes afterwards. And I was like, I'm never you, doing that you're again. You're supposed to equalize the pressure as you go down. I don't even know what that means. Like it's when you like close your nose and blow. So like your ears pop. Oh, I've never heard of that, but I would do that next time because it was the most intense and quick pain I've ever felt in my life. It was just like a switch turned on and my ears were going to pop. Um, but I did grab a little shell and I saw a stingray. And we saw a barracuda and jellyfish. That's very cool. I uh, moved and it sucked. Yeah. I actually, pl- a year ago, I plotted to go on this cruise the same week that Brandon had to move so I could avoid moving. Here's a fun fact. I helped Wesley and his <laughs> wife, my sister, move when they moved and then they did not help me back. We picked the cruise first. Brandon, they found a really, very, very awesome place to live. And um, naturally, we're excited to move in. 
and moved in the second they could. It just so happened to be on the probably the worst week they could have picked. I it hurt me. <laughs> It sucked. I if there's one thing I hate more than Thor: Love and Thunder, it's moving. It's moving. <laughs> and that's, here's the so second that's the things you hate is Thor: Love and Thunder at the bottom, moving, and then what's that right there? What's number three? Hanging stuff Probably on the walls. Panera? Okay, hanging stuff on the walls. Panera's number four, but mm. only because they've fa- they've fallen so far from grace. Yeah, they have. Panera was a very important company to us at one point. Uh, believe it or not, lots of brainstorming going on back in the day. Um, Technically, the origins of a show like this come from no one knows about that show but technically resulted in this show because our podcast knowledge from that show transferred over that's called uh it's called the transitive property of mathematics Mm, i learned that in junior high so we cut to satan and b walking through the wilderness you like them still forgot this happened yeah they walk to the city and they drink some milk uh dogs cannot Wait, are we still in 261 yeah this happened in 261 damn yeah long dogs can't drink cow milk it's the, bad that'll for give them the poopoo it's bad for uh for cats too despite That's... what you know popular media would have you believe cats should not be drinking human milk so they're just lamenting the fact that like boo was really nice and then unfortunately what happened happened and they they missed their opportunity opportunity to save the world and then we cut back to boo who turns himself into a ball naturally by curling up and then he destroys the whole rest of the lookout so now the lookout is super destroyed and then go tanks traps him in a spiking boo ball slam this is one of his moves in dragon ball fighters you wouldn't know thanks for the reminder and then he turns him into a crater and they're like wow we killed him so it's like the 10th time they said that and then he explodes in anger and it's a big blast and then they're like oh he's not dead no he's and then and then go tank says this is bad And I said, yes, this is bad. Oh, this doesn't even compare to what he says next episode. Yeah, it doesn't. How do you think, what's the the go-to move? If Boo comes back to life, what's something that you could try that we haven't done yet? He hasn't technically tried Super Ghost Kamikaze Attack a fifth time yet. That's true, which is also SSS, a.k.a. Slow Sperm Shot. Um, So what you do is you spit out of your mouth the ghosts that then look like sperm as they travel through the air and then they just kind of like attack and explode on boo um here's the thing with boo that i don't think gotenks has learned yet is that it doesn't work if you do that you can cut him up you can blow him up you can do whatever you want to him and he's not gonna die so what so what do you still not have like a what do you think is gonna kill him then fire how, who does fire? I don't know. I'm just saying, like, if they start a damn fire and put him in it, like, I think you're set. How do you come back from that? You melt him. You change his state of matter, and that's how you defeat Boo. They're leaving him as a solid in these moments. And if you, you can't, the solid Boo lives. Turn he's him into a, a gas. He's more of a, non, a, a non-Newtonian fluid. Or plasma, as some would say. Is plasma really a state of matter? Or is that something that science teachers told us to be cool when they were like, there's actually four states of matter? I think it's like a theoretical state of matter. Or maybe not theoretical, but just like only under laboratory conditions. No. Like CERN. Fusion. The sun. Like CERN. No, the sun's a gas. It's burning gas. Yeah. But it has gravity. Um, I had to grab my pen. I gave it a three out of seven. I gave it a three out of seven, too. <laughs> I'm tired of it. Very. Uh, are you going to be more tired of it the next episode? No, I actually like the next episode a little bit more. I do too. Unlucky break. Oh, wait. Oh, man. We talked about so much stuff from this episode just now. Oh, did we? Super Ghost Comic Comedy Tag. No, because he does it again. Oh, does he? Yes. Oh, this is the... you. This is what you were talking about with SSS. Oh, okay, good. Because this is when he's not Super Saiyan 3 anymore. Unlucky break. <laughs> Why the long nose, Gotenks? That's my first question. What was that? Why the long nose? <laughs> was that like Pinocchio? I thought. He did, he did mention something about lying. And then his nose came out like that. But it was such a strange, out of Dragon Ball Z character thing for the show to do. Just a little pop culture reference for yeah, you. Yeah, just a little bit. Just changed his nose out of nowhere. Why the long nose? Um, Dragon watch- Ball Z. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Ball Z is like Shrek. Yeah. Um, Lots of pop culture references. Yeah. Um, Shrek 2 is not a very good movie. On the cruise ship, Gabby was telling somebody that the fun did you know fact that Lord Farquaad is supposed to sound like Lord Fuckwad. Yeah. The part where they go and his into... His hair is shaped. Yeah. 
the part where they go into Duloc and they touch the little fountain thing and it goes, shine your shoes, wipe your face instead of ass, which is what we all thought I was going to say, cracked me up as a kid. Just belly laughing. I don't know that it cracked me up, but I did love Shrek 1. Um, and I loved Shrek 2. Shrek 2 is amazing. But when you rewatch, no, no, no. Uh, but when you rewatch Shrek 2 as an adult, you will realize that a lot of the movie is boring and a lot of the movie relies heavily heavily on pop culture references to the point where like every other scene is a pop culture reference simon cowell's in it yeah that's awesome that movie gets a 10 out of 10 agreed it's got a whole american idol segment shrek the third bad shrek four shrek the third has a joke about weed in it because it's cool to have jokes about hey drugs. kids did you know that it's cool if you smoke weed and also it will make you make us like you better and it'll relate to you and you'll be a wizard in wizard school and come out of your little stoner van while Shrek walks by with a bunch of smoke everywhere. Fun fact about Brandon. I've never smoked weed. Fun fact about Wesley. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> uh, unlucky break. Uh, where are we at? So Gotenks actually says this is getting old. Yeah. And Which, we agree. Yes. We agree. They are meta- discussing with us how bad everything is they do fight a little more uh gotenks gets caught in a headlock and then he says i'm hungry then we get an inordinate amount of time between him saying i'm hungry and then him deciding to chomp on majin Buu's arm and not even a way that you would eat he just bit him it wasn't the kind of bite you'd go for to take something out to like eat it i do want to bite him yeah well i want to eat him <laughs> i want to bite him like really hard just to see what it's like. I know the texture would be really satisfying, like the way that it would like. Do you know what I think teeth. it would feel like? Mochi. Yeah, I could see that. I had mochi recently, and I was like, "This is such a fun little texture. You don't get it anywhere else in the world, unless you eat like raw pasta, maybe." Trader Joe's ube mochi ice cream is in our freezer one hundred percent of the time. What is it like? Mochi with ice cream in it? No, it's like what? No, like it's like. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, yeah, the, the yeah. mochi's around it? Okay. Yeah. I didn't so know you had like... regular mochi? You didn't have ice cream mochi? No, it was ice cream mochi. But I was. But yeah. eat, I eat the... I'm a little little freak sometimes, and I eat the mochi first and then the ice cream. In the end. That is so <laughs> messed up. <laughs> it's just interesting. It's, it feels good in your mouth. Kind of... <laughs> no, I love the interaction, though. You got to take the actual bite. <laughs> yeah. I love the texture of mochi. What's the best flavor ube. other than ube? Uh, probably matcha or strawberry. Mm, and then... Strawberry's always good. Mango's really If you get popular. like a cookies and cream, you're freaking weird. I've never had a chocolate skewing like a non-fruity or tea flavored mochi but i'm up for it so i'm a big tea guy big ube guy big ube guy ube is like a little potato root or something like that it's like purple sweet potato i think taro is a root oh taro is what i'm thinking of wait ube is taro makes same. boba taro doesn't make boba Bo boba is tapioca that's pearls. right lots of teas. taro is a root that is a popular boba flavor, which is what I get every time. That's the purple one? Yeah. Oh, so ube is different. Ube been, is purple yams, I think. The purple gets me. I've been thinking ube and taro were kind of the same thing. Fun, so fun fact, I recently told someone they were the same thing. Oh. The old wife corrected me. Oh. Yeah. Oh. She said, no, no. That She said, that's not true. Shout out to you, Brandon's wife. Shout out. Anyway, um... Not a whole lot more here. Um, we get a kick onto Boo, but then Boo gives a big old mouth blast that looks pretty primal. Uh, shout out to Liver King. Uh, very primal of Boo to do the old mouth <laughs> blast. So primal! I'm going to eat some bull testicles. And I've never taken a drug in my life to per to enhance my performance. <laughs> Why well, have vegetables when you can have testicles? <laughs> I watch so much Liver King, not because I like and support him, but because he is. I am just morbidly curious about that. It person. is bizarre the amount of food he must waste on his dinners. He doesn't eat that shit, bro. I know, but like the amount of food wasted. Yeah, well, yeah, insane. Exactly. I've actually started to kind of hate TikTok's trend of like, or just really creators' trend of like food waste. Uh, my wife kind of pointed this out to me. Like when people just have these like gigantic meals and like they're not going to eat it and they probably just waste all that food. And it's I like, like those when they do. I like the food challenges where they actually eat them all. Oh, yes. Eat it all. Me too. Yes. Because I am capable of such things. Yeah. But when you are like Liver King, you just have this table full of like, like the dude, like literally their dinner will have a plate that's probably 70 pounds of bacon. And it's like. And, and he'll have like a thing that has like 12 cheeseburgers on it. And it's like one, I don't know. 
Primals, primals, primals. That was really good. That sounded just like I a- watch him a lot. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> he looks. He's. He's. Um, I actually just saw one the other day. He said he doesn't use shampoo or conditioner or soap. Yeah. Because when you have a clean diet like his, which is raw meat and stuff, you don't have to use soap. That dude smells like cheeks. <laughs> yeah, he is probably one of the stinkiest. He also looks hot to the touch. Yeah, he's like, um, very always hot. greasy. But that's probably because he doesn't use any kind of like soap or product i don't even know if he showers i also saw another podcast a uh, clip where he says that he doesn't usually wipe because when you eat the way he does his poops are so solid and clean that you don't need to wipe that's actually really funny because joe rogan back when i listened to him um said when he did the carnivore diet he said that it gives you monstrous like dirty clapping <laughs> shits <laughs> so, the- so this guy is Right. So this guy is probably having just the most terrible shits and just still not wiping. I have no doubt in my mind. Now, <laughs> n- oh, now I don't agree with the allegations that that he has ab implants because the dude works out hard, yeah. but he is very obviously juiced to the gills. And if you don't agree with me, you are Sopramo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he definitely um uses performance enhancing drugs. Like, there's just no, I don't know. I don't know if you can either that or he's lying about his diet, or maybe he is. Maybe I'm subprimal. Yeah, I think I actually <laughs> I actually think you are a bit subprimal. I'm sorry. Uh, so Gohan finally gets his new form. Thumbs up to Dad. Dad thumbs ups back. We get them to see each other for the final time. Goku gives a little speech about how they shouldn't. No one on Earth should be relying on someone to come back from heaven to save the world, and it should instead be one of its own residents being Gohan. How far is heaven? Oh Lord, can you take me? Heaven, Lost Lonely Boys, two thousand two. They transport him to Earth. He's in his father's clothes. He's good to go. He's juiced. He's ready. He's juiced to the gills like old Liver King, and he's ready to go. Uh, I give it a four out of seven. It was saved by the end. Four out of seven as well. Four out of seven as well. Although I do not believe that this arc has earned such a nice goodbye between Gohan and Goku because they're like, man, this is the last time I'm going to see you. And it's like, y'all just wasted your last few hours together. You watched Gohan. You watched your son look at an old man looking at porno while he was waiting to get his full potential. And Goku, you just watched a ball. You guys didn't even connect or have any moments or any kind of anything and all of a sudden i'm supposed to be like oh my god this is so sad they're having their last goodbye let alone do i even believe this is their last goodbye no no i don't anyway it was still a sweet moment go on just say goodbye <laughs> just say goodbye to his dad it was real sad well, who is what is this he's gonna go find boo boo's really bad <laughs> is this dmx <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I knew it was something. I was like, okay, he's he's doing some rapper right now. <laughs> Human were- saying with the new form. That's just DMX. Just- <laughs> hair stays. Don't give it to you. Hair, hair stays black, but he ain't gonna fight back. <laughs> cinnamon all cinnamon. <laughs> cinnamon all cinnamon. Some of them do it. Some of them do it. You some. Uh, whole new Gohan. I gave it a six out of seven. I gave it a four out of seven. Oh, um, I'm just still annoyed with the arc, and I I'm, I can't give it the points it deserves because it's not getting the setup that the rest of, that we've seen them do before. Um, Piccolo calls Gohan's rise in power level inconceivable. So go. I think I think Gohan's real strong, and Gohan's whooping ass. Yeah. So that tells me that he's stronger than Super Boo for sure, which we can already kind of tell. Um. But before that, Piccolo steps in to save the boys when they unfuse because he thinks that he's going to have to. And they say really just annoying, just just a whole annoying sequence where they're like, we'll apologize to Boo and go get him candy. And they're being kids, but kids are annoying, so it's annoying to watch. And it's like, you know this dude is like killed everyone and you think you're going to just be able to say sorry and give him candy? Ugh. It's just so, it's such silly writing. But Gohan is a cold mother trucker now. Yeah, I very much like, we've already kind of talked about it, but I really like his attitude towards this fight, and I think that things are going to go pretty seriously, uh, because like I said, he's learned what happens when you don't treat it uh, with respect, the situation that is. Um, What's the average score of the next three episodes, you think? 
I I actually I actually don't know because I I don't I have to look at what they are, but I'm pretty sure the average score is a little high. I hope so. Like I on the higher it. end of. I need it. Possibly very good. I just gotta good. stay high on the scores with to Dragon Ball Z like. to keep me intrigued, to keep me One, two, intrigued. Three, yep. So I give it a six out of seven. <laughs> uh, pre Gohan arriving and fighting, it is a three for me. Yeah, but then Gohan arrives and it's very sick. Um, this figure is very cool, actually. I'm looking and the textures are nice. I like the textures a lot. It feels nice. Um, that one was actually a gift from the same gentleman who got us this one. I just haven't been able to use it yet until he got that outfit. Icon. Well, we I have noticed we have been relying a little too much on um, <laughs> singing uh, popular <laughs> songs lately in our episodes. It's a bit like Shrek two relying too much on pop culture references. Some would say we might be have we might have subconsciously told each other to do that this episode and lately, knowing we would reference Shrek two and how it relies too much on pop culture. In fact, I went into the future some weeks ago and I knew Brandon was going to say this about us. And so I infused songs and I ensured that we would talk about how Shrek 2 has too much pop culture to bring it around. Correct. Gohan's gonna fight, boo. Cinnamon all, cinnamon all. Gohan gone. Gohan. Gotenks gone. Gohan's here. Cinnamon all. Femina cinnamon. Rub it up. Dragon Ball Z. They don't know who's who. Shen wrong. Shen wrong. Gone wrong. So long. Dick song. That was actually better than mine. <laughs> that was better than mine. Dragon Ball speak out.